So here you can see that I've included the expect assertion library, and we're going to use that to talk about how to use the map API in JavaScript. So you can see we have this double function we're calling and also this pluck, and each of these are supposed to use the map API to uh, pass the test that they have inside of them. Here in the double function, you'll see that we expect our um, input to be transformed into this expected value where all the numbers are doubled. And uh, we're going to do that using the map API. For the pluck, we have this array of objects. And we're going to expect that we can pluck off the name value off of each of those objects. And we'll use the map API on the input to do that. And if we go ahead and run our code here, we can see that the first test is failing. So let's go ahead and make this pass. So to start out with the double, we're going to take this out and we have the map API being called on this input array. And it's being called with this callback argument. The callback is a function and we're gonna call it callback here. And the callback accepts an item and then it returns what we want to have in place of that item. So for us, if we return high, then we'll see that the expected high, 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 high is uh, supposed to be equal to that. Of course it's not. Um, and so if we now take the item and multiply it by two, and we can see that the error is now that pluck is failing. So let's go ahead and comment that out. Then we'll see that everything passes. Uh, there's no error thrown. And so we've accomplished our purposes for this callback on the double. So now if we enable this pluck and we run our test again, we're going to see that this is failing. And so here we'll do the same with this. And here it's going to accept our item. And the item in this case, in the first iteration, is going to be the ID of one and the name of Nancy and so on and so forth. So here we simply want to return the item.name and that will make our test pass. So there are a couple other arguments that these functions can accept. You can also get an index and the full array. So if I'm going to console.log here, we'll just do a couple lines and then I'll console.log the item index and array. Then we'll see the first item here is Nancy and her index is zero and then we get the entire array. And then we are on the next iteration. We have Bob is the item, his index is one, and then we have the entire array again, and so on and so forth. Finally, there is sort of another argument, and that is the context or the this argument. So if we go ahead and change um, our console log to include this, then we're going to see this huge amount of output. And what that is, is the window object. So we can actually specify this um, by using the uh, second argument into the map function. And we'll just say um, that the this will be an object that we call hello world, give that property. And then we'll see in each of our iterations, we'll get uh, hello world as our this argument. And that is the API for map.